Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I am doing a video in regards to a tag that I got um, from the lovely, I think it was colouring with uh, Amy, I think she tagged me in it. Um, I have spent um, <laughs> a good half a day writing out the questions and the answers um, all the place I could put them was in my 2024 Creative Companion by Ruby Charm Colours. So um, we're going to jump straight to the page. So, yeah, it was Colouring with Amy that tagged me, bless her. Thank you very much. So it's called the 2024 Mid-Year Adult Colouring Tag. I've never been tagged in it before, so this is going to be interesting. I did try to be as accurate as I could. Um, I've not really got any of my books out to show you, um, so I will like pause the video to add the pictures to the video so you can see the uh, pictures that I've done. Um, so when it asks for certain pictures, uh, I will like stop the video, add the pictures, and then restart the video just to make it so that it's all compact and I'm not having to get all my books out to show you and then put them all back. So there is i think it's 15 questions yes 15 questions and i had to answer all of them so we will start with question one how many pages have you colored so far in 2024 well i'm currently uh videoing this in august um i did write these out i think it was the 7th of august so i've done a couple of more pages since then um so there might be a few other pages that i've missed out on uh but up to now i have done 78 pages so far um so i am hoping to uh, hit at least the 100 pages mark it's gonna be interesting to see how many pages i do every year um Question two is, how many books have you coloured in so far in 2024? I was quite shocked, actually, because usually I'll colour a page um, and I stick to one book until that book's gone. But I've, over the years, I've started to uh, venture out a little bit and uh, colouring books that I haven't been colouring in. Um, so that's the reason why I've made being able to colour in 51 books so far and there's still um like another four months left of this year so there's still more to come um number three is favorite completed pages in 2024 so far um i have wrote them down but i will pop them in in this video for you after i've mentioned them uh but i my favorite ones is the kirby bat page from fragile world scar page cherry fairy from coloring of an annual 2022 beehive mel mel Pemeni's circle of life uh lighthouse from colored with love by mel Pemeni chats Panagiotu, <laughs> Baba Yeager's Curb by Kirby's Mythic World, uh, Sunflowers Bloom by uh, Christine Karen's Fairy and Fantasy 2, Rita Berman's Europa Page, uh, Kanoko Agusa's, um, I think that's Symphony of Cute Animals Easter Page, Easter Egg Page, Christine Karen's Fairy and Fantasy 4, May. Uh, Christine Karen's the uh, through through worlds and times book. I think that's meant to say, uh, and then another one. I didn't write down the um, name, but the this one is the first snow, and then Fairy and Fancy Two Wild Berry Bloom by Christine Karen as well. So those was my favourite ones so far this year. Then it asks. On the next question, your least favourite pages in 2024 so far. Um, there was a few pages that I did I wasn't very keen on this year that I could have done better, um, which is Mythographic Animals page. Uh, I think it was the monkey, but I will sh I will pop the pictures uh, in the video. 
Uh, Joanna Bashford's Lost Ocean Fish. I did use uh, pens on that. It was just a quick, quick one for me. Uh, my Magic Jars pages. Uh, that's a pages page. Bashford, uh, Joanna Bashford, Small Victories, Pencils page. Coco Wyo's Enchanted Gnome Couple. I could have done that one a bit better. Um, but, yeah, those are the ones that have, have been my least favourite for this this year so far. Um, what is your most coloured in book of 2024? Uh, and I was going to go with Mythomorphia. I've got around 12 pages coloured in that pit, in that book. Um, I have completed World Within Worlds, but that was completed like two years ago. Uh, and I did a, a small May You um, colouring book. Uh, did I do it? I think I finished it like in November, something like that. I think we did, or what is it, for Halloween. It was something along those lines. But those are the only books I've really completed. But I think it's my Mythomorphia book that I've coloured most pages in by far. I'm hoping to get that one, that book finished at some point. <laughs> um, what is your most anticipated release for the second half of this year? Um, I've actually pre-ordered quite a lot of books, to be fair. Um, I've pre-ordered Anna Carlson's Christmas book. Um, I've also pre-ordered Maria Troll's new book that's due out in October. Um, I've pre-ordered Camilla D'Erico's Flights of Fancy, Alan Roberts' Storybook, uh, Beetlejuice and Universal Monsters, uh, Joanne and Santiago Carl's two books, Cosmic Horror and Gruesome Horror, Jonah Bashford's Magical, Magical Worlds, Mythographic Rainbow Realms, Magic Apothecary, I, I can't pronounce that properly, uh, Mythical Beast, Shangri-La, Crystal Kingdom, uh, Undead, Undead Academy, Haunted Arts, Dream Voyage, Dark Art Nightmare by Francis Gautier, um, Unlock Your Dreams by Stratton Peterson, Dark Fairy Tales by Kirby, Fairy Tales and Folklore by, uh, em, I think it's Emily, um, and I have added a couple of new other ones that I've found as well since I've wrote out this uh, list. So there's quite a few books. Um, number seven is, have you tried any new colouring te techniques this year? Um, I, I did actually start learning to um, use my RTs or Everblend art markers to do as a base layer and then going over with pencil. I found that to be an absolute godsend in order to get, you know, the right consistency of depth and uh, everything else that you, you can't get on, on its own sometimes with pens. Um, so, yeah, uh, alcohol markers for a base and pencil on top. And also it was the first time this year of using a different colour for skin tones using Christine Karen's methods. So uh, it was the first time of using, like, purples, yellows, greens, uh, and reds in in a skin tone color um so that was really interesting and it did work out i can't remember what page it was that i've used it on but i've also still started to still continue with my faber castell poly col skin tone colors that i use myself you know all the time uh but i've also started adding like yellow and greens to give it a bit of a more you know a different natural look it's it's very very interesting and intriguing on how different colors help with the skin tones and it's still it's still a work in progress i'm still learning how to do it i think everybody struggles with skin tone colors um so having the extra help from the colorists you know the uh professionals <laughs> Given us uh, little clues on how to manage to colour skin tone helps in a world of wonders. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to continue that into next year as well. Uh, is there any colouring book you regret purchasing this year? Uh, not really bought any this year, but I don't regret any that uh, I have had um, or, I've, I've, you know, any that's been bought for me or anything like that. I've not regretted any that 
I've had in my wish list or anything. Um, so no, there's not really been any books and I didn't buy any books for the first half of the year because we went on holiday. So I wasn't spending any money uh, because of that. So that's the reason why I didn't have anything to show for the for the first half of the year. Um, what colouring books do you want to finish by the end of the year? As I said previously, I think it's going to be the Mythomorphia book or possibly a Christine Karen book. Um, I, I would love to finish another Christine Karen book. No, I haven't finished a Christine Karen book yet. I do apologise. I think I'll get mixed up between the Myth and Morphia and Worlds Within Worlds. But yeah, I'd love to finish the Myth and Morphia because I've already finished Worlds Within Worlds, but I would like to finish a Christine Karen book at some point. Uh, I have got the Wildflower Thought book, but I'm waiting to, wait, I'm waiting patiently to finish all the other books of hers that I got, I've got from Amazon to start on that, you know, so it's all practice and whatnot. I want to do my best work in that. Uh, so I've not started in Wildflower, and I don't really intend to either. I want to uh, continue coloring the pages that's in uh, the Amazon books first. Um, number 10, what uncolored books do you want to color in by the end of the year? Um, it's funny, I, this is on there. Um, I was speaking to my dear friend Reese uh, this morning. Uh, Reese has got two more Carolina Kubikowska books. And I jokingly said we should do a buddy colour. <laughs> well, not joking. Well, you know, joking as in having a laugh. But I also do want to do a buddy colour in it. Uh, so yeah, I think the Carolina Kubikowska books I'd like to make starting. Uh, also, the Anastasia Calderava books. Um, I'd like to do more Anna Carlson, Maria Troll, and the Mythographic books. They're all absolutely beautiful pages, and I do feel intimidated at times to colour them, but I do want to at least make a start in them. Uh, question 11, what colouring book is at the top of your wish list? Uh, I think everybody's going mad for it at the moment, but uh, I'm looking forward to the Kir Kirby's new book, Dark Fairy Tales. Uh, but I'm also trying to collect the Anastasia Calderava books uh, and the Carolina Kubikowska books. Um, I've just literally bought uh, two books from my dear friend Claire. Uh, she gave me first refusal, Ticket to Dreams and uh, Imaginary Friends. I've got Rising, which I bought from her, and Circle of Circle of Life, I think. Yeah, I think it's that one. So I think I, I think I'm missing one or two books and some postcard books or something. Uh, Anastasia Calderave. I've only got two. Yeah, I think it's just two books of hers I've got. I'd like to get the rest, but it's just expensive. the The shipping costs more than the book itself, which is so frustrating. Um, then question twelve. What colouring supply is at the top of your wish list? I'm not even going to go there. Honestly, if you went and saw my wish list, it's just endless. I keep people buy me stuff. Uh, I buy myself stuff. And I always seem to replace that with something else. Uh, but I would like to get the full set of, you know, the chunky Ohohu art markers, the 300 plus set. I want to get myself one of those sets. Um, I want to get the 150 set of chroma floors. I've already got the 70 something set. Uh, I want all the pan pastels. Uh, I don't want much. Uh, I'd like to get all the Derwin, the 100 set of Derwent Light Fast, uh, the whole set of the Neo Color 2 sets, and uh, the Karan Diash Luminance 100 set. Those are the, the top of my list. Um, but they're just expensive, aren't they? Uh, Question 13, what pencils have you used the most this year? Paul is 100%. <laughs> I uh, always seem to go to my Paul is uh, all the time. Uh, I've had to get so many restocks of pencils for those. Um, I've got my own little tub with all, all the restocks in, um, and I keep topping it up every so often so that I never run out. It's mainly the, the skin tone colours that I use a lot of. Uh, and browns, I use a lot of browns, uh, 
blues, greens, purples, all of them. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely Paulie's. Uh, Flavour adult colouring channels. Uh, there's quite a few. So, uh, pull up your socks and get ready. So, I love A View is a View, which is Pam. I will pop all uh, channels in description. Kate's Colouring Haven. Uh, Disney Meg's Colouring. Nico Simi Colouring. Colour and Collage with M's. Sophie's Colouring Journey. Emily's Colouring Corner. Colour Me Happy. Molly Newland. Connie Loves Pencils. Reese's Spooky Craft Corner. Colouring with Amy. Rachel Henderson. Melissa Arts Art Therapy. Kits and Caboodles, Gracie's Corner, Jamie's Life, uh, Rain Colour Universe, New Creative 32, Michelle Creates, and lots, lots more. <laughs> I've got so many channels that it's my subscriptions is endless. Uh, I have got others on there that's not colouring related as well. So, but yeah, there's, I'm going to link everybody that I follow in, in description for you. Um, and then last but not least, adult colouring goals for 2020. I don't I think that's meant to say, is it 2024 or 2025? Uh, not really thought about goals this year as thinking about goals makes it feel like a mission or chore. I just enjoy buddy colouring and getting to know new friends. So, um, yeah, as for goals, not really. Um, I do try and push myself like each month. So, like, for instance... Um, in me, in this, I've uh, been putting, managed to colour 13 pages this month. So I like challenged myself to try and colour that little bit more. Uh, but like February, I managed to colour 12. And then the following month, I managed to colour four. But that's because uh, Luna was born. Um, and then April, I managed to colour 14, so I surpassed the 13 from the other month. Uh, let me see. Um, how many did I colour that month? Let's have a look. 10. I coloured 12 that month. So I like fluctuate sometimes. June, I coloured 9. And then July, I didn't colour many colored eight and then august uh but I'm, I'm combining july and august together anyway um but as for august up to now i've got six colored but they're mainly through all my live streams from last week um so yeah i just i, tr I do try to um up my game some months to try and do better than one of one of the previous months but yes more importantly scrap the goals just enjoy coloring don't let it be a mission or a charter you know it's same with buddy colors that you can buddy color you don't have to do it in a week you don't have to do it in a month and you don't have to do it in a year do it when you want you know uh just don't make it a mission or a chore because you'll end up starting to get fed up and bored and then you end up scrapping your buddy colors so do it when you're ready, when you feel like it, and just enjoy it and have fun. That's all it's about. And not only that, making new friends. So, yes, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the, let me fit, let me remember, <laughs> the 2024 Mid-Year Adult Colouring Tag, uh, then I'd like to hear your questions. Uh, I will pop the questions on the uh, description as well so you can join in if anybody else wants to join in you can tag along um if you want to tag me in it that'd be great i can watch your videos as well uh so yeah again thank you for watching give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate your support if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel it uh, just extra support to, to my channel as well really do appreciate it don't forget to click the all notifications so you get notified about all content that's uploaded. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week and uh, I'm hoping to see you all tomorrow. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.